Who was Jesus Christ? Was a fool who told what would seem the most absurd lie. One sunny day, he stood in front of a bunch of people and said, I'm God. People laughed so hard and their soul's light instantly shrank by such sin. Well, they didn't know he was a sacred fool. The most sacred of all. Demons nearby following this smelly strange new sin, arrived and took over the most dumb in the crowd, and started making some very intelligent theological inquiries. So why you're here and not above us? If you're God, I'll drink your blood and eat your flesh and so I'll become God. Jesus answered, and you will forever be blessed for that. Eat my flesh as your bread, drink my blood as your wine, and you'll enter the gates of heaven today with me. You see, demons walk in the darkness, but can't close their senses off the light, and actually they have a very mixed attitude towards it. When Jesus said those words, a beautiful light of the purest kind was born in the eternity, because it was true, and because he was God. And demons, as purely spiritual beings, could see it as clear as the midday sun, a light that humans with their 3D senses never could. The very presence and voice of Jesus makes demons weak in their knees, makes them want to throw themselves at the sea. And that's what they did, they ran off frightened as if they saw a ghost, a very holy one. And so the humans' incipient souls took back their bodies, but if an ethereal observer could see the entire happening, they wouldn't notice too much difference in the crowd's attitude, ex except for the absence of theological cleverness. Quickly the news spread in the demon community, the Son of God has arrived on earth. Satan's Conversion you may have to sit down before hearing this harsh truth, I'm about to tell you. Just the fact that demons could now talk to God through the person of Jesus Christ, filled the hell with so much hope and happiness, that the place didn't deserve such name anymore. The truth is that demons are creatures more fearful of God than humans, and when I was before Christ in the desert, when I offered the world to him, it was my prideful way to tell, Oh God, I love you so much. You humans have no idea, with your little fleshy eyes, I was the one who was really tempted and ended up falling from disgrace that day. Noticing I was losing the battle, a desperate thought flashed through my prideful mind, maybe if I push him off that cliff, but I couldn't never get near him. I could never do that, so I suggested, knowing I was defeated already. You, reader, must pay closer attention, the part that priests don't say, the fact that God himself has turned into a creature, bringing all the way down his divine love back to me, made me very emotional, and the fact that I could crush that fragile human body as I pleased just made it harder to me not to burst in tears. I really couldn't push Christ off that cliff, against all odds. What a mysterious power. I'm evil, not dumb. I did all this mess and can go back to heaven easy like that. By having direct access to the highest authority in the matter? But more mind-boggling to me, God himself, in flesh and bones, came down from heaven and is putting such offer on the table? Well, if that isn't enough love, love. So that day I ascended to heaven and Jesus and his disciples had sent every demon up here before his crucifixion, even though, without any demonic help, of course, men killed God. Humans are evil and dumb. So in fact I was partially right because the humankind was a despicable creature which could be called a god's mistake. But this very same creature could be used by God as a vessel. 
So the human race it's not a mistake of a flawed God, it's a God's mystery, even for me. Priests and Christians needed to hide the fact that the hell was empty, they were trying to frame me for their crimes, I'm already in heaven, bitches, the joke's on you, this scapegoat has escaped.